we discussed the basics of inventory the organization structure that is we call it as multi org structure topmost organization is business group we have ledgers under the business group and each ledger is having legal entities or at least one legal entity within the legal entities we have operating units and within the operating units we have inventory organizations and within inventory organizations we have sub inventories within sub inventories we have locators locators which decides the exact location of the item basically they are like coordinators row rack bin like x y z now <clears throat> after that we discuss the basics of inventory like the item what kind of item it is any item which is existing physically and we have some items which are not existing physically and by using those items we have transactions like miscellaneous receipt that means you are receiving the item from outside into the storeroom without purchasing or without manufacturing because we have just started learning the basics of inventory we don't know how to purchase how to manufacture we will see after knowing the basics of inventory how to get into procure to pay how to purchase the raw materials or sub assemblies or components then slowly we enter into manufacturing where we have different manufacturing operations we will be completing one by one operations to complete all the processes or in the production by consuming the raw material at different operations and assembling those raw materials or components or sub assemblies into finally till you get the finished good job, finished good item in this process we have a couple of transactions we have to use as a part of inventory transactions we have seen raising a move order what is move order a request to the store whatever the item you want you have to raise a request that request is nothing but a move order and if you are asking to transfer the material from main store to your store if you are from production production is itself is having the sub inventory sales from sales area sales area itself is staging we call it as staging it's very important question what is staging staging is nothing but sales area from where we are going to ship the item to the customer okay if you are requesting the item to to be transferred from main store to your store then it is called sub inventory transfer but there is a request so we call it as move order transfer when there is no request still we are doing the transfer between two sub inventories that is called sub inventory transfer which is meant for bulk transfer mass transfer I told you the examples why what is the difference between sub inventory transfer and move order transfer you are raising a request to transfer the material from one sub inventory to another sub inventory at the same time you are raising the request to transfer the material from one sub inventory to outside not to your sub inventory or something else item is going out of organization where it is called as move order issue that is the basic difference of move order transfer and move order issue and what is the difference between sub inventory transfer and move order transfer then we have miscellaneous transactions we have seen how to receive the item from outside to increase the on hand quantity in the inventory by receiving the item we are going to increase the inventory inventory value is maintained by inventory material account so you are going to increase the inventory material account because after receiving the item finally you are going to store the item in the inventory which is going to increase the value of inventory having quantity multiplied by the unit cost of the material unit cost of the item if you are buying an item for $100 then definitely after receiving the cost of item will be $100 in case that $100 sometimes it will be more than $100 why because to bring that item from one location to another location you might have spent some transportation charge and that has to be added to the item 
okay so that is how the item cost will be decided where we call it as what are the item you purchased from the supplier that is material cost and what are the transportation you spent that is called overhead 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 is nothing but extra charge that you spent to bring that item into your inventory now and after that we have seen like miscellaneous transaction by performing miscellaneous receipt where you have given the account number why because you ultimately you are increasing in the inventory material account at the same time the where is the credit positive is going to positive value is going to inventory material account at the same time negative value will be going to some other account what is that account that account is nothing but the account you give manually in the miscellaneous transaction so while receiving inventory material account is getting increased is being increased right so if you are performing issue what is issue giving out by for, by performing miscellaneous issue the item will be going out when item is going out inventory material account has been decreased means negative effect has gone to inventory material account at the same time positive effect will go to which account that account you have to give manually while performing the miscellaneous issue transaction okay now miscellaneous transaction we have seen let us see now okay now let us move on to application in the application <clears throat> i told you i'm going to perform miscellaneous transaction so go to transactions then miscellaneous transaction when I open the miscellaneous transaction, it is asking for the organization, which organization you are going to work. Let me select the organization which is having manufacturing. Now, it has asked what kind of transaction type. I have miscellaneous transactions. So these are the, if you short by M, starting with the M, what are the transactions? We have miscellaneous issue, miscellaneous receipt, simply. Okay. Now, miscellaneous receipt we have seen already. How to receive the item from outside to your store. So, once again, quickly I do the transaction miscellaneous receipt. See, when I enter miscellaneous receipt, source account has been enabled, but it is not mandatory. So, let us not enter here. When it is mandatory, we will try to enter. So, let us say, I can enter the account number here itself, but I am not entering. Why? Because it is asking to enter still it is man not mandatory so optional we call it as now go to transaction lines my item is this i want to receive this item okay 99 is the on hand quantity available totally let me select the sub inventory i want to select the sub inventory this is finished good sub inventory wip working process after manufacturing we keep the items in wip finished goods item oh sorry sub inventory so that is that has been named as WIP finished goods sub inventory okay now in which locator I have the locator combinations I have to select the locators I have to find row rag bin which which locations okay which locator we have predefined locators available in this sub inventory we will see how to how to define the row rag bins or locators in one particular sub inventory we will see in the part of as a part of setup we see how to set up that okay now So I'm going to enter the row rack bin, but I'm going to combinations. I have the combinations here. Click on combinations. It is asking the query mode. When you click on combinations, then it goes to query mode. 
I don't know the combination. So I would like to enter percentage and click OK. It will show you all the combinations. OK, but only one combination is there. So it will be taken by default only one. OK, so I move on to next field. It is asking unit of measures. I told you what is unit of measure. Unit of measure is the very important concept and especially while defining the item under which unit of measures or what unit of measures you can use for an item to measure. That is very important. We have primary and secondary. What is the difference between primary and secondary? It's very important question. I told you already primary with what unit of measure like primary unit of measure is the one with what unit of measure you are going to store the item into your store main store. You track the items by that unit of measure that is called primary unit of measure. That means if you see on hand quantity, you can see the items 99 yards only. See when it is saying yards, that means yards is primary because on hand quantity will be showing always, always the primary unit of measure. This is where this is very important. You have to remember. And what is the difference between primary and secondary secondary unit of measure whenever you are selling this same item again okay if you are selling this item to customer i can sell in yards or rolls one roll equal to let us say 20 20 yards so like one dozen equal to 12 numbers i can define a unit of measure conversion between yards and rolls yards is yards it's nothing but length one yard equal to some some feet some feet okay some feet now so when you say yards some yards together forms one roll so when i say one roll equal to some 75 yards let us say so this is how like one roll is nothing but you measure the cloth it's just like in this item is nothing but it is see it's a kind of fabric but it is polished or synthetic fabric so fabric if you go to cloth cloth showroom like if you are taking clothes then definitely it's not ready made and you are taking the cloth then definitely how it will be measured meters if you want to stitch you know yourself like uh, a shirt and then how many meters of cloth you take that is how it depends upon like somebody says in your unit of measures like if you take whole roll then what happens that's it he measures the meters and one meter how much and total roll is well how much he calculates and it, he bills you he invoices you then definitely you have to pay that much amount and you have to take the item similarly here this item whenever you are selling this item you want to sell in unit of measures different unit of measures then you can say so let us say you can sell with foot with kilometer with linear foot with linear meter with meter all these are you know measured for these unit of measures all are measured used for measuring the length that length is nothing but class all these unit of measures comes and un coming under unit of measure one particular unit of measure class what is that class that class is nothing but length class okay now how much quantity i want to bring the quantity of let us say this much okay around 10,000 yards okay see it is asking account now I should have entered here but I didn't enter here so it is asking there okay if you enter there then definitely it will be defaulted here I don't know the combinations let us go to combinations click then these are all the combinations so you are giving the account number you tell me what is this account somebody might be having a doubt saying that I have given the account whether credit is going or debit is going to this account system always knows one account only why because as per the setup system is going out sorry item is going out or item is coming in it is very simple now tell me I am doing miscellaneous receipt means what is the transaction type the item is coming in item is coming in means that definitely quantity will be increased when quantity is increased quantity multiplied by the unit cost totally that in inventory value is getting increased so inventory material account has been increased it means positive has gone to inventory material account then credit will go to 
What is that account? That account system doesn't know that you have to give manually. I am giving manually. So credit goes to this account. That's it. What is the positive value going to inventory material account? The same value will be going to the this particular account with a negative sign. That's it. That's it. You can as it is lot control and serial control item. So definitely it is asking lot. It is lot control, not serial control item. So it is asking lot number. So which lot? I am going to receive with a lot of. Uh, I will enter the date. So the date is 18th May. 2015 okay this is what the lot my lot quantity how much how much i am receiving 10000 let me put 10000 click done that's it now save it save the record if you see the quantity now for this item i will copy this i will save the record first now if you see the quantity then quantity might have increased from 99 to 10,099 that's what you can see now so go to on hand availability on hand quantity enter the item find availability it is saying 10,099 but quantity is zero why available to reserve is zero total quantity is there now let us see how to update that I told you already we have to go to the respective lot and we have to change the lot status okay this is the item and we have the lot this is the lot and go to tools status update here lot status okay it is approved it will ask the reason something you enter Reasons of course will be entered. Then look at the status. Add to. I'll make it something I will enter here. So what else it is asking? Any mandatory field? Nothing. It's not mandatory, so leave it. Update. Changed. Now close this. On hand quantity again. Clear. Enter the item. Control okay next fine click on availability still it is not there okay let us see what happened mm -hmm. so what is the status let us pack it is zero loaded cost group is fine then lot is this the status what is the status field status is blank okay tools status update Now let us see on a quantity. Still is not updating. Why? Let me see. Can update is any status act to mm 
status updated It's 99 now it's available it is available with fin okay okay 99 now 10,000 available so once you have updated the status then it will changes to 10,000 have you seen this available to reservation initially it was zero why it is zero based on the status like if you change the lot status as MRB or quality check is required then definitely inspection is pending then definitely that will change to available to reserve is zero because that comes from the status we will see how to define the statuses you know while define while uh, discussing the setup this is what i perform the miscellaneous receipt now i want to perform a transaction by which the item will be going out from the inventory see the here the miscellaneous transaction i have miscellaneous receipt i already done so issue let us go to issue i am i am entering this time account here now let us see you can enter the account at any point of time as it is a, not mandatory here you can leave it blank also but in the transaction lines you, it will be asking again so let me see i already entered while performing the receipt i entered in the account in the transaction lines now let me see how it is getting defaulted in the transaction lines when i enter here now let me test, select the account number select now transaction lines item sub inventory from where i want to issue i want to issue from the same same sub inventory i know 10099 items are there see now locator i know what is the locator fin i think right only one is there so that will be selected now quantity how much you want to reduce i want to reduce 99 i want to issue the material 99 see the account number is defaulted the one you gave the gave in the particular account field the same thing will be defaulted here okay so lot serial which lot you are going to 99 we have two lots i received already there were there uh, there was 99 items were there right so that was having this is the lot in the last class i did it is defined by me and me itself okay so i have one lot having 99 quantities having this particular lot on may 3rd we received with a lot number that is manufacturing date or received date and 10,000 count with today's date okay i want to issue this 99 so enter the 99 you have to enter like this and you want to issue more materials then you have to update the quantity first it is entered as 99 it will let you to select 99 itself either you can select 80 from here remaining 19 from here let us select this i want to issue 19 only total 99 that figure should be same total should be same otherwise it will give a problem save it when you save the record that's it over if you see the on hand quantity now let us see see 10,099 have been issued but having two different lots don't don't forget that if you see we have lots we have two lots see this much for this lot we have this much quantity because you issued out right 19 so that is coming here for this lot there is something 19 because you issued only how much 90 only uh, sorry 80 or 90 something you you have to remember that's it this is what performing the miscellaneous transaction now we have miscellaneous transaction in which we have different you have given account number you just remember that now i am doing the same transaction miscellaneous transaction 
but this time see what difference it makes compared to miscellaneous transaction when I perform miscellaneous receipt or miscellaneous issue what I am doing now observe I am doing the same miscellaneous transaction I open the same form but transaction type I am selecting differently how it behaves let us see here we have starting with a account alias issue account alias receipt okay we have two transactions now it's very important when it is alias it's nothing but a different name so basically you might have heard about Naxalites or radicals or Maoists we will be having different alias names so alias names were nothing but second names so nicknames so what we are going to do account alias why we are calling account alias see in your mobile phone you are feeding all the numbers and you are giving you are giving names against the each account number right against each number you are giving a name and yours is a smartphone then you can say to your phone call so and so name you can pronounce call Mohan Reddy. Okay, then what happens? Phone automatically recognizes, it takes the number and what is the name assigned to that number based on the name that you pronounced and based on that, the number will be called, right? That means when I say something, name, that refers to actually the number. So it's very difficult to remember the number, but name I can remember. So I call the number name but in turn it goes to account right so that is the way like account alias is nothing but a name will be given to account it's very simple so if you do the bank transactions okay you are adding pay you are adding pay right if you transfer some amount to my account I have to be added as a first a pay and a, a, a pay right then what happens using that pay you transfer when you added pay, it won't ask the account number, but it simply asks the account number pay name. So you, when you select the pay name by default, the account numbers will be defaulted from the system. That means it is very simple method to not to remember the account number, but nickname or alias name you can remember so that while performing the transactions, it is very easy to perform the transactions. So that is the reason we give the alias name to the account number. Instead of giving the account number, we give the alias name so that you can do the transaction. Now, let us see. First, I will increase the quantity. Account alias receipt. See, miscellaneous transaction, when I selected, account has been enabled. But when I selected alias receipt, it is asking source. What is source? Let us see. All these are names only. There is no account at all, right? Now let us see. I will select one name. The first name. I will select. What happens? Let us see. Go to transaction lines. It is as same as miscellaneous receipt only. But instead of giving account number, you are giving a name. That's it. That is the main difference. Instead of giving the account number, you are giving the alias name. That is nothing but source. How this source is getting defined and what is the account assigned to this name let us see as per the setup okay now when i go to transaction lines this form has opened it is asking the item so i selected the item same i receive how much i want to receive two wap sub inventory finished good sub inventory which is with what locator combinations then selected okay now lot number with what lot i want to enter a lot it is optional so i am not entering here now let me receive the quantity 119 okay now if you try to save it it lasts the lot number it has to be entered lot lot number because item is lot controlled so it is click on lot number and see the list of values i don't want to receive with the existing lot i want to receive a new lot that is may 18th 2015 or you want different lot I mean, okay I found one with a quantity of 119 then then okay
okay now save it that's it quantity might have increased but what is the difference similarly now i am performing miscellaneous issue sorry account alias issue selected it is still asking the account source number but remember while performing the receipt you are giving account number while performing the issue you are giving the account number but what is the difference of those accounts you know while issuing you are giving the out you are giving the item to outside means item quantity is getting reduced in inventory that means inventory material account is having a negative impact when you are issuing the material at the same time when you are receiving the item that is miscellaneous receipt when you do the miscellaneous receipt item quantity is getting increased that means inventory value is getting increased means inventory material account is getting increased positive value is going to the inventory material account negative effect will go to the account that you give manually so you are selecting the source what is the source you are selecting your name you are selecting a name that name will call directly the account number and that account number will have the impact negative or positive based on the transaction type you have selected okay that's it you can select the item then which sub inventory you want to issue i want to issue from same sub inventory this time how much quantity i want to issue the quantity so you have to select the locator that is a part of sub inventory so we have to select the locator now what lot you can select from here also no need to go to here in case it is lot control item it will come here so select search by the lot i know this is the lot i want and i want to issue the material how much and i want to issue only 104 okay press tab now save it over so no need to click on this lot and serial because either you give lot number but it is important in case that it is the item is both lot controlled and serial control then car is both lot controlled and serial control remember rod is only lot numbered item but not serial number item if if you define rod as serial number then you have to consume whole rod so whatever the transaction if you want 1 meter rod as still the standard rod is 10 meters rod then definitely you have to use 10 meters only there is no chance of cutting the rods in case the that has been defined as serial controlled item I given the example we have to remember that now let us see how these aliases are defined here 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 you have the, all the aliases let us see how to define the aliases now come to the setup i have the setup here if you scroll down you can see somewhere account alias where is that this is the one when you click on account aliases see all the names are there and what is the account against this name only you are able to see these uh, these names but not this account number so because it is taken by default this account number from this setup that is what this is the account alias name this is the description and this is the account number and effective on in case you want to disable this combination then you can put in date that's it effective date till this date to this date it is active and after that after this date if you want to use this account it will not be visible in the system why because due to this is the effective to date this is why the account alias issue miscellaneous receipt or account alias receipt or miscellaneous receipt it's very simple now moving on to very important topic this is counting this time it is counting I told you submit transfer. Simply you have to transfer without request. When you raise the request, that is called move order transfer. Now let me move to counting. We have physical counting and cycle counting. It's a very important topic. So physical counting and cycle counting. What is physical counting? The physical counting is nothing but the name itself is indicating. You have to see the items that is that are existing in the inventory. When some items are existing in inventory, the system quantity should show the same quantity. If system is showing something else, and physically you have some items, there is a discrepancy. There is a difference. Then how can you believe the system? Your system should as same as should be as same as 
the physical quantity that is existing in the store. Any deviation which will not be allowed, it has to be corrected. When you want to correct, what is the procedure? That is what physical counting or physical inventory. We are performing physical inventory. We are going to do the physical inventory. How we are going to do? Let us see. See, this is the navigation. In inventory, we have the this is we have to switch over to inventory responsibility. Then we have counting. When you have when you open the counting, we have cycle counting and physical counting, replacement replenishment counts. Okay, we are going to discuss cycle count and physical. That's enough. Okay. Now physical counting. When you open physical counting, you can see physical inventories, tag generation, tag counts, and approve adjustments. See, navigation is very simple. Go to counting. We have physical inventory and physical inventories, tag generation, tag counts, and approve adjustments. When you do the physical counting, first you have to do this, next this, next this, next this. That's it. How we are going to perform? Let us see. Have concentration and listen carefully. It's very important, class. You have any doubt? Again, go to classroom and listen this video. Okay. Now, physical inventory. Let me open this. Say I'm opening the physical inventory. Okay. I have some physical inventories already. See, F11, control F11. I have, but I want to create new. I want to start from scratch. Okay. Now add one more line. When you have all the lines, you want to create new line, then you can click on plus icon. This is for new record. When you click this, it will ask you to create new data. I'll give a name for whatever the activity I'm doing right now. I'm giving a name. This is BA physical counting. Okay. I have given this name. When I press tab, it is asking. It is BA physical counting. I given the name. Okay. Now from date to day. Required approvals. See what you are doing. You are checking the physical quantity. If the physical quantity is 100 items, then system quantity for the same item should be 100. In case system quantity is showing as 1000 and physically we are having only 100. So which quantity should be adjusted? Definitely system quantity only. Physically whatever is adjusting that is correct. So system quantity you are going to correct. How you are going to correct? Physically we have only 100. Systematic system showing as 1000. So 1000 should be reduced to 100. Right. So approval required. Approval required. Why? Because whenever you are reducing, this is causing some value reduction in the account. Right. So some approval is required from finance. So if in case it is required, if out of tolerance, if you select, always means whether you are registering 0.5 cents or $1 also, it has to be approved. If you have tolerance, if the adjustment is above $100, then only it would require approval. Otherwise, within $100, no need, no need of approval. If that is the case, then you can bypass it. Okay? Never. You can never means at any cost. If it's $100 or $1,000 or $1 million or $1 billion, it's not required for you. Okay? So, this is all. Like always or if out of tolerance. If it is out of tolerance, you have to enter the tolerance limits. Plus or minus values you have to enter. Now, let us select. Always. I want to see. In case out of tolerance, it's very simple. It will ask you the tolerance plus or minus. When the quantity has been reduced to 50 plus or minus, I want to be a reduce, to be approved. That's it. Plus or minus. Value. How much? 50 is a quantity. Value means the value, let us say, if you are adjusting the total value, whatever the after adjusting the quantity, the value variation is happening around $1,000 then minimum $1,000 only I am concerned about. $1,000 to $5,000 I want. If it is worth of between whatever the adjustment you are doing, you are reducing from 100 to 0. 100 multiplied by unit cost, how much? That much value is less than, is it between 1000 and 5000? Then fine. No approval is required. If the adjustment is minus 6000, that is more than 5000 limit. So we have to go ahead with Okay. Now. 
you can otherwise if you want to see always i want to see the approval procedure for all okay it's simply you can select all now see here you clearly observe status okay snapshot complete adjustments posted snapshot date allow dynamic tags exclude zero balances exclude negative balances so what is exclude zero balances what is exclude negative balances it's very simple as per system quantity the quantity is zero but physically we have some items what does it mean so system whatever it is saying whatever it is saying zero quantity that is wrong so that, that has to be corrected the zero should become as physical quantity equal the zero quantity the system quantity should be equivalent to physical quantity so exclude zero i don't want so i am not enabling if you enable exclude zero quantities means as per system if the quantity is zero system will not count for those items that's it system by default treats as correct items correct quantity exclude negative balances why why should i neglect why should i exclude no i should not why sometimes if you allow negative balances as per the setup if you allow negative transactions then even though quantity is zero as per system you can perform the transaction so when the quantity is zero you can issue the material 10 that means on hand quantity becomes minus 10 the quantity is zero already still you are able to do the transaction means negative quantity has been allowed when i allow negative balances even the quantity is zero you can issue the material of 10 that zero becomes minus 10 so as as and when you purchase the items if you are purchasing 100 items now you are receiving 100 items then minus 10 plus 100 becomes 90 that's it so as and when you receive the negative quantity will be nullified that's it this is how the adjustment will be done so here i don't want to exclude zero balances exclude negative balances i want negative balances to be considered zero balances also to be considered because if the system is showing zero quantity or negative quantity that might be wrong as per physical quantity so i want to update it okay i'm not excluding that's it now the important topic is snapshot complete adjustments posted snapshot date what is snapshot snapshot what is snapshot it is generic term snapshot is nothing but a picture what is that picture why do you require snapshot in physical accounting yes i am taking a picture of inventory that is existing in the system in the system we have different items and what are the quantities we can see in the on hand quantity right system when you select the snapshot snapshot means system takes in the database what is the on hand quantity available by item wise what is the quantity by sub inventory wise what is the quantity every picture if the system as per system by this moment if you are taking picture it is very simple you are at classroom in within the classroom we have 10 members including me then if i take this picture from top top of the insured so that i can see 10 members and one faculty and all the furniture and everything will be there snapshot when you click that's it it will be saved that picture at any point of time you can see that means what is the status of that particular class classroom at that particular time that definitely it will be shown in the picture means you are taking the picture of inventory so that we will work on that picture if that picture is correct then we will see in the physical inventory that picture and a physical inventory picture is both are same quantity wise yes then no adjustments if there is a difference let us do the adjustments let us see that okay now approvals required always i have selected because i want to see approval procedure so snapshot i want to take a picture of inventory from system point of view not physically physically you can go and you, you can count it you can see the items and everything is there but as per system i can't enter into the system through into the server i can't enter physically means it is taking the data from the database from the tables information on hand quantity for this particular item or what are the items available in the system in the database what are the items available every item what is the quantity it will be taking it will be taking all the quantity picture what item what is the quantity right away at this moment at this moment 
keep in mind after snapshot you might have done the transaction but system don't care system doesn't care okay why because at that moment i have taken the picture and that picture is correct or not because at that moment you'll go to physical inventory and you will see whether that item is existing or not as per system it is showing not existing as for physical quantity it is existing then we have to correct the system quantity saying that it is existing that means if the system system quantity is zero physically you have 100 so zero should become as 100 that's it now let us do that now i want to take the snapshot when i click the snapshot what happens see con concurrent request there is a request so it's a number for inventory snapshot submitted click ok concurrent request submitted means nothing but report so what is that report view how to see the report view request i'm not running already system has run what is that report let us see simply if you want to run you have to click on submit submit new submit new request but i want to find out click find when you find one request will be running or it might have completed also in case it is running it will be shown in green in color if it is already completed there is no color you can see the output or if the there is no output no issues it is a concurrent request so let us click on find see it is running what's happening what is the request it has been running okay it has been run like it is nothing but freeze flag freeze physical inventory what is freeze physical inventory means what in the system as long as this request runs nobody can do the transactions why can, why because system stops for some time during that time it pulls the data from every table and whatever the item information it takes what is the quantity existing in the system it will take to fetch the data it will stop all the transactions it will freeze it will freeze all the transaction will be stopped for a while when uh, that is the reason you should not run this request while having your business uh, while doing the while in the period of business hours like in the morning you will not be doing after office hours whenever you complete the office then after that you will be running that because it will reduce the performance because it is going to stop the transactions it is going to lock the tables to fetch the data from the tables Okay, we are going to freeze and take the picture. System is going to take a picture and that stores. Once completed, we will see. It's running. Oh, I have taken all the sub-inventories. I should have taken one particular sub-inventory. See, while running, you have important topic here. Here you can see count sub-inventories. Which sub-inventory are going to, going to count? One sub-inventory or all sub-inventories? If it is all, you have to sell it all. Right now, I have not given any specific sub-inventory. That means it is taking all the sub-inventories. That is the reason it is taking too much data from the database. If you would have selected specific then you have to enter one sub inventory only from the list of values or couple of sub inventories you can select or one or two sub inventories or one or three or one or four you can select one to four you can select what are the sub inventories you want to count you can select if not this is organization level so it is taking time it has completed <clears throat> now is there any output let us see there is no output this is a concurrent request means in the back end it it will process something so there is an output now take this physical count name that has been defined into the notepad because i have to track in the next steps this is the physical count now then close it i have to reopen to see the status so f11 give the name control f11 open 
see this time snapshot is completed have you observed this earlier it was blank now it is enable that means snapshot has been completed okay now close it now what is the next step tag generation what is tag you know whenever you are counting sub inventory is so big right our storerooms is so big our warehouse is so big you are counting all the sub inventories in this case i have not given any specific sub inventory means you are counting all the sub inventories it is so big so even though you are counting all the sub inventories and each sub inventory is partitioned right is having a partition so in that partition what are the items are existing what is the item quantity what is the item what is the quantity details everything to be entered right who has counted what is the serial number what is the lot number after counting you have to write it right results to should be written on the tag so that tag is nothing but tag tag should be generated first how to generate the tags and how to see the results in the tags let us see now now go to tags it's very simple when you are going to sub inventory and you are counting something you have to result write the result somewhere right that writing to be done on the tag the tag is nothing but this tag generation okay i'm going to generate a tag name okay so that name is already there ba physical counting because that is based on the physical counting starting tag if i select when i click on this number of tags system is generating i don't want i don't i don't want default one there is a default see when i enter starting number as 100 let us say or 1000 the moment i enter 1000 and i enter 1000 and press tab it is generating digit increments 1111 okay 1111 and ending tag is this much and number of tags are this much i don't want default values i don't want to generate 1000 or whatever it may be for my case i want to generate i want to count only two items or three items and i want to see because if you generate too many tags then all the tags to should be counted to pass the adjustments i can't waste the time so if whatever the way you are doing for three counts or four four, four tags that is the same process for 1000 tags or 1 lakh tags now starting tag i don't want default i want blank when i say blank these two tags gone have you observed when you select this something else when you select this something else now starting tag is 1000 digit increments always it's bin binary numbers okay 0 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 1 these are the binary numbers so we will be use will be using only 0 and 1s only ending tag i want only two tags okay i want only three tags or four tags let me select three tags when i select three thousand to one or one thousand two why thousand is one tag thousand one is another tag thousand two is another tag so totally three tags that's it so system is going to generate now generate i want to generate click on generate so concurrent request has been running has been has been run for tag generation let us see if you request refresh it is generated now let us see is there no is there any output nothing now how to find the tags that have been generated now we have created three tags right now we have created three tags you remember 1000 2002 now what are those tags you can run the request to know the request to know the tags submit new request click okay the report name is having tags so i have to find by tag i have to find by tag click physical inventory tags okay now it is asking parameter what is my physical inventory this is my physical inventory right press tab or you can select from the list of values it will be there okay it will be there now sort by tag tag numbers i want to sort by tag numbers only a range i want all okay full listing because i created only three right i want all the three click okay submit no submit another request no find refresh when you refresh it gets some time it takes some time to complete this request 
and this request will generate an output let us see that output and how the tags tags how the tags look like let us see tags are very simple you know in childhood also we have the notebooks and in the notebooks we use it to paste you know we use it to stick the labels like phantom label or mickey mouse labels which is consisting name section and what is your surname and what is your role number and what is your high school name everything is there that is nothing but tag the tag has been you are using the, the tag to identify what it meant for you are writing on the tag saying that it is social book or english book or mathematics book or like english language book you are writing that what is the importance of tag it's very simple tag to identify for what it purpose for what it uh, for what it meant for to identify that item and uses click ok now refreshed it has been completed now let us see the output when you open to open full in full font like we have to tools and go to tools and copy file that will be opening in the browser okay so this is we will print this tags and we will cut it and paste it on that that's it this is the way right your notebook used to have name class section school name address and everything right similarly these tags because after counting you know there is a there is a cotton box within the cotton box we have the items so, so on the cotton box on the cotton box you are going to paste this label or stick the label so that whenever I open the cotton box, then we are going to see based on the label, what are the items are there? What are the lot number? What is the serial number? Everything is there, right? In what locator, in what sub inventory are going to count, everything will be written here and pasted on that. That is the purpose of tags. So tags are generated, fine. Then what? next tag counts i have generated three tags only so three tags meant for how many items three items so what are those items and you can count the items and you can write the results and you can adjust the adjustments in case system quantity we will check it out system quantity and physical quantity if the system quantity is not equivalent to physical quantity we are going to correct the system quantity by increasing the quantity or decreasing the quantity so that the adjustment will be passed what is that adjustment so as per counting you are going to correct the system quantity right 1000 becomes 100 sometimes 100 becomes 0 so 1000 becomes 100 means how many items you reduce 900 items have been reduced 900 items have been reduced means 900 multiplied by the unit cost of the item that is the worth of the value that is the worth of the item has been reduced from the inventory material account right that means reduced from inventory material account but increased in adjustment value so adjustment account there is an account that account has to be given what was the manual account you are giving that will have the impact accordingly based on the reduction or increase increase increment in the inventory quantity that's it now let us see tag counts what is the name physical inventory name ours is the first one find query all existing tags yes i want all the tags three tags you have generated only three if i would have generated thousand tags i have to enter all the lines thousand lines it's simple three lines or thousand lines and the concept is same if you can generate three tags and you can able to count it and you can able to count for thousand also you do one thing i am counting three and you can generate thousand and it can work for all the day okay now i want to count first item how to search the items in which sub inventory this item i want to count in let us say uh, receiving or any sub inventory let us say in mixing this item in mixing sub inventory having a locator of in this locator i am going to count okay in this locator i am going to count in this sub inventory for this item and again is this tag this tag whatever the tag thousand tag the tag is already there the thousand tag this means top of that thousand one is this so here we i'll be writing this is the item this is the lot number this is the real number and everything so i will write the end results okay first let me see okay physically you have seen as per system what is the quantity okay 
system will be having something but physically you have seen something right physically how much quantity you have seen for this item in mixing sub inventory in mixing locator hmm? and against this tag i am writing something and physically i have seen the quantity of 104 or 612 let us say this much quantity i have seen mm -hmm. then what else come down okay now another item see the list of values i don't know the code percentage click ok it will show you all the items second item this time and which sub inventory and this time this sub inventory is um, okay coating coating sub inventory in which we have a locator as this is some of the locators let me select one locator the one locator is this is the one locator okay now this is the unit of measure how much let us say this is nothing but 500 i have seen physically whatever i am entering it is not system quantity remember it is whatever you have seen with your eyes in your storeroom that much quantity you are going to enter so when you save the record this 500 will check if the system quantity is also 500 there is no adjustment that means the adjustment is zero if you are having 500 here and the system quantity if the system quantity is something else that means what you are making 500 if the system quantity is 200 then 500 means 300 quantities have been increased means the positive effect has gone to inventory material account and what are the account you are giving while passing the adjustment it will ask you the account number because you are passing the adjustments so when you pass the adjustments the positive effect has gone to inventory because you are increasing the quantity because you entered 500 the physical physical quantity is 500 systematic system quantity is 200 only that means from 200 you are going to increase the quantity to 500 means 300 items have been increased when you, 300 items have been increased 300 multiplied by the unit cost that much value has been reduced or increased accordingly right now let us see third item i am selecting third item this item and which sub inventory i want to select one sub inventory that sub inventory is this time fabrication okay this is the item and which, which locator the fabrication locator what is the locator let us see this is the locator and i have seen in this locator for this sub inventory this item i have seen these many yards how many yards i have seen thousand yards system quantity might be different let us see okay now okay now what should i do shall i save it shall i save it okay i will save it field must be entered what is the field quantity i didn't enter thousand control s or save it transaction complete three records applied and saved okay then that means this much quantity i have seen physically so i entered here so that's the same thing you will write in here same thing you will write here for the all the tags tag one tag two tag three and what are the different items what are the lot and what is serial number everything you will be seeing then close it now you have entered but you approved adjustments it is required always right you selected as per the setup have you remembered approval is always required so I'm going to select my cycle count or sorry physical account then find okay adjustment posted if you select this if adjustments have gone already into the system then only those results only can see I have not selected this so I am getting all the results if I select this okay now close it open if I select this okay adjustments posted nothing has been posted so you cannot you are not able to select this anything so when you have some of the adjustment you have passed then you can select okay simply fine because i want to see all okay see why we we have done for only three but we are getting these many results why have you remembered i have selected three sub inventories and three locators also and i counted for that item apart from these items we have many items in that sub inventory in that locator right so what are the items all these items are there 
but i am not le i am least bothered about remaining items but i am concerned about only three items because i have taken three items and i counted that's it remaining i am thinking that those are correct so nothing so what are the what are those three items i have to check let us see first let us take the three items go to tag counts first find the items because i forgot to take the item codes all existing tags yes i want these are the tags right let me take the item codes into the note pack this is the one this is the two this is the three okay these are the three items now close this now go to approve adjustments when i go to approve adjustments is asking the physical count and find it now what is the item what is where is my item okay where is my item first okay i am selecting approve all first See, it is selecting the approval radio button. Have you observed? When I select approve all, earlier it was none. Now, radio button has been selected. I am going to approve all except these three. Why? Because I have to see what is the adjustment for first item. Where is that item? F11. I don't want to save it. First, find the items. First, these three items we are it's very important for us see system quantity was something snapshot quantity was 10,000 have you remembered snapshot quantity was 10,000 we made it to how much we made it to something so that quantity has been reduced this much means we have added 612 right we made it 612 have you remember means 10,000 to 612 how much we have reduced? 9,388 has been reduced. See? Should I approve and reject? It's up to you. I want to reject. Now, I want to reject. You want to save it? Save it. Done. Now, go to second item. F11. Select the item. Control F11. What happened? It was having the quantity as 0, but you made it 500. So it has been increased. You want to approve? Okay. I will. I am going to approve. Save it. For the second item, third item. Now, F11. Select the item. Control F11. The quantity is 1000. System quantity. Snapshot quantity is nothing but system quantity 0, but you made it 1000. So, value has been increased. So, I want to approve or reject. It's up to you. I want to approve. You have taken the decision for these three first of all. It is very important for us. For remaining items, now let us see for all. F11, control F11. For remaining all, what should I do? I want to select approve or reject. It's up to you. I want to reject, reject all or approve all? Approve all. Because I counted what are the items I want to count, I have taken those items and I counted. For remaining items, I am going to approve. Okay. I am least bothered about these items because system whatever the system quantity that is as per that is correct as per the physical quantity also or physical quantity is as same as system quantity so i am least bothered about these items it's very simple okay done now save it
done close it saved done now what happened you have approved adjustments but have you passed the adjustments you have to see open your physical inventory query your physical inventory so my physical inventory is this is the one right then open now after opening the physical counting your physical counting go to tools go to tools launch adjustments and this is the one final launch adjustments select it is asking adjustment account have you observed here now it is asking account number because i told you whether the quantity has been increased or decreased inventory is getting affected when you increase the inventory material quantity inventory quantity your storeroom quantity you are increasing the inventory value means inventory value is having a positive effect means a negative effect will go to the account number that account number you are giving manually here that's it that is called adjustment account go to combinations i don't know the account number uh, select search this might be the account or anything so launch adjustments done launch adjustments is nothing but concurrent request will be running and we have to see the output okay now it's done we have launched so adjustments have been passed to that account now let us see view request what is the request has been running has been run like let us see now refresh refresh okay once it is completed you have to see the adjustments what adjustments you have done what value what quantity you there is a report submit new request we have to after launching the adjustment you have to run this report so if you see here somewhere you have to find physical okay enter see here there is a physical inventory adjustments report this is the report you have to run finally this report has to be given to your manager that's it display and break manager means you are the end user you are not you are you are going to be a consultant if you are an end user then you are going to your storekeeper then you are going to submit this to next level display break on the sub inventory no i don't want to break up if you want break up you can select yes include rejected items yes i want all rejected and approved all adjustment value short option descending descending means what high value will be coming on top low value will be coming on top physical inventory i want only one that is this is the one i want select okay submit no okay first of all it has to be completed after completing this only we have to run this don't run at a time okay it is completed with we are with output see there is an output after completing that request you can see the output this is the what for that sub inventory physical inventory this is the physical inventory including including rejected items okay all the items so this is the item this is the sub inventory this is the locator this is the lot serial number this is the count quantity count quantity your quantity okay adjustment quantity thousand count value this count adjustment value this okay all these things in total will be there so we have no we have done for only three items our remaining items we have not done anything so that's it there is no change or anything so only those three items if you find and you can see the adjustments simply totally you will have all the results okay in the bottom at the bottom you have total value of the inventory that's it okay this is what the physical inventory
you can see the output this is the output and if you want to find this item let us see copy this item let us go to that report control F find it control V I want this item enter find no matches We have to find because we have not completed that request, so we are not getting all the items here. So this is the procedure. Like what are the adjustment you have done, and you can see the adjustments in the report. And this is the tag report, tag generation. It's completed. So basically what happens whenever the physical inventory adjustment is an adjustment physical inventory adjustment report okay if it is error you log in the log you will come to know exactly what is the reason for completing this request with the error okay there's a problem because you ran that report before completing this okay that will cause the but simple it is very simple this is the procedure you have to follow the print option has been disabled for this report so that's it nothing much this is the procedure you have to follow okay and I'm going to send this video file 